<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies. <sighs> Y'all know who I am, and if you don't know who I am, you'll find out one of these days. <laughs> so, yeah, well, <clears throat> parcels are gone, that's a long story. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about, so I'm not going to worry about vanity at all, okay? <laughs> Can I laugh? And yeah, whatever. Right, here we go. What I need to talk to you today about is taxation without representation. Now, we all know that taxation without representation was about English tea and they taxed the colonists so much that, you know, they had it and they didn't have any representation. And we don't either. Who? I'm a smoker. Okay? Smokers do not have any representation anywhere. Oh, my hand, I'm not going to stop. All right. Taxation and representation. Okay. So we're going through that again with smoking tobacco products of all kinds in America. Uh, well, when I was going, we could buy a pack of cigarettes for 70 something cents back in the day. Okay. So I'm not telling you, no lies, man. I bet your pack of cigarettes today cost been place and all that stuff. Let's calculate two bucks. How much do you pay for cigarettes in your area? It's it's just sick. Not in a good way either. It's just vomitous. The taxes that we're paying. And then no one likes smokers. And then we're ostracized out of our houses, and then it goes on and on and on, man. It stopped the war. And get down to brass tactics. How about coffee shops with smoking? You know, sit down, have a coffee, and have a smoke. How about restaurants for smokers? Okay, there's revenue major. And then we all sit around... After we eat, light a cigarette, stop, and the waitress comes by and says, would you like some dessert? And then they get more money. Right now, when you're sitting in the restaurant, you want that cigarette, pay your bill, and then you leave. You don't buy the coffee. You don't buy the dessert. So you're losing out on capital. And restaurants, man, they'd be booming all over the place. Jobs, etc. Come on, man. Let's lighten up here. What I need to do is for all of us, smokers, non-smokers, people who quit, people who are thinking about smoking and don't want to, but thinking about it, to unite and write, W-R-I-T-E, right now, R-I-G-H-T, to Congress. Start with your House of Representatives, then get to your senator. Go into the vice president and up into the president. And let's get this thing going. I've done it before. I did it, um, oh, eons ago when, uh, a hospital situation was, we was misrepresenting funds, I found out about. And ended up, well, long story short, by writing those letters, I believe Clinton was in office at the time. I was able to start the ball rolling with the newspapers and things, write two newspapers. Um, I let up tweet them. I don't know what you do these days, but it's like, let's get this going. Um, I was able to get it all taken care of through the paper, newspapers, and um, there you go. But I started big because it was their money. It was federal money. Okay? And speaking of federal money, what is this thing about federally funded apartments that we can't smoke in them? It's not their business. Of course, you're not going to smoke in the common areas of that place. What, your apartment? You pay rent. Okay, not enough um, griping, which is explaining, not really griping, but it might sound that way to you. Not really what's going on here at all. Let's do it. <laughs> all of us. Before 
they decided to tax bubble gum up to Brazil or something like that there and blame us for leaving gum on the sidewalk and how that causes disease, which it does, and things like that. Day, I'm not trying to start anything, but you never know. We're blamed for everything, man. I mean, oh God forbid me, but my grandmother died of lung cancer, and every day, God rest her soul, and at the time that people would smoke around her, she would get and leave. She was never around it, but it was blamed on that. No, 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 no. Too much. Too much. And I'm so worried about people who have been affected in an extremely negative way from cigarettes, triggering, you know, horrible, painful feelings outside smoking, man. If someone sees a cigarette, maybe a child, and gets hurt so bad because they've been hurt in different ways. Okay, so let's all unite. Peace, man. What we want is peace. We're going to reunite. We're going to write. We're going to tweet. We're going to podcast. We're going to blast this thing out of it before something else gets taxed like crazy for a, a sin to tax. There's no sin, man. Come on. Who are responsible smokers? So let's go stand up for democracy, freedom of the Republic of the United States, and... <laughs> Shut me up. Grab the bandwagon. Go for it. In the name of peace. Have a sweet day, night, evening, whatever it is.